Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Len Schildroth from East Lake in Hopkins, Michigan. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, June the 22nd. Uh, current temperature is 76 degrees. The high today is 86. The low is 58. The, it's mostly sunny today and the winds will be 15 to 25 miles per hour. It hasn't, the, the winds right now are about probably eight or nine. So it's not quite that fast, but it will get more, I think. Okay, uh, glad to be with you today. Okay, I'll sing a couple songs for you. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. And I, I'm desperate for you. And I, I'm lost without you.
second here. Okay, you ready for this? Forget not all of his benefits. priest whose name is love whoever lives and pleads for me Jesus Christ is my high priest and he stands before the father and he intercedes for me isn't that great Jesus Christ is uh, my salvation I am in Christ if any man be in Christ he's a new creation old things have passed away and behold all things are become new Having some trouble here. I'm trying. Maybe. There we go. I know that uh, this second verse is often sung twice. You ready for this? Because the sinless 
might try a little of this saw. I may not get all of it, but that's a nice saw with the parts of it. Let's see. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for Him. Vacation Bible School, Arctic Edge, at uh, First Baptist Church in Otsego. We've had a number of children that have come to know Jesus as Savior this week, and others that have thought about the Word of God and about one of the themes is being courageous, being courage, having courage. Uh, one of the verses that I'll talk to you: Have I not commanded you, Joshua one nine, be strong and of good courage, or be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, or do not be terrified or afraid, for the Lord your God is with you whenever, wherever you go. I like some of the other translations. Have I not commanded you be strong and be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified or afraid, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua one nine. Uh, these verses are in Joshua. Um, Moses has died. Sometimes our white lives fall apart. <clears throat> Maybe someone that's a spiritual uh, strength in your life has passed away. <clears throat> I've had several people in my life. My grandmother, um, my best friend, others are, are failing. To know that Christianity and God's plan for the world is going to move forward, even if I die. God does. Is, God is not dependent upon me for His plan to go forward. God is going to continue to save people and love people. <coughs> Sorry about that. Here's the passage: After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, Joshua one verse one, 
1, 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given you, as I said to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. No man, man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. As I was with, Mo, with Moses, so I will be with you. And I will leave you, I will never leave you, and I will never forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For to this people you shall draw, divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to the fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, first of all, this is specifically talking about the children of Israel going into the promised land. And God had promised to give Abraham and Isaac and Jacob this land, and so he is going to bring the people. He brought them out of Egypt. And after they had wandered 40 years in the wilderness, God was now bringing them into the land. So God keeps his promises. That's one of the things that you read here right away. Uh, and there's a great promise to Joshua, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I've thought about that. As I've thought about other spiritual people in my life, as my, my best friend Dave Voss. As God was with Dave Voss, so he shall be with me. As God was with Moses, he shall be with me as God was with Peter and as God was with Paul. He will be with me because he's promised. And the great promise is never will I leave thee and never will I forsake thee. The Lord is my helper. It's repeated several times in here. Be strong and of good courage. Don't be afraid. Okay. There's uh, some words here of, I think, direction. In verse 7, it says, Oh, be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all that the law, all the law which Moses his servant commanded you, and do not turn it turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. If I want to prosper in my life spiritually, then I need to take heed to the word of God. I need to obey its commandments in my life. Um, I've often told people a little illustration, you know, God wants you to put gasoline into your tank of your car, and if you put water in, it won't work. And the fuel for my life is the Word of God. And I need the Word of God in me to change me and make me and lead me and guide me so that the Holy Spirit can use it in my life. Are you reading the Word of God? Are you hiding it in your heart? It says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it, for then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. If you want to have success in your life, you need to get the Word of God into your life. You need to memorize it, and you need to meditate upon it. This isn't about going to church on Sunday. I'm glad you go. I need to read the Bible for myself. If you don't know where to start, I've often told people to go to the, to the, um, the Gospel of John or the Gospel of Mark. Just start reading about the life of Jesus Christ, who he is and what he's done. And it will change your life. And then you will have good success. And then um, God says, he repeats it again. He says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed. 
for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Father, I thank you for your promises and your word. And I lift up my prayer for all those that are listening, Lord, as, as the, the priest blessing was, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine down upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. And may the Lord give you his peace today. If I can find my name, there it is. Well, may the Lord bless you today. You know, spend a little time and read uh, Joshua chapter 1. I know it will bless your heart.